Hi friends, I'm Maddie, a senior at UC Berkeley studying electrical engineering and computer science. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to become the IT student at school. When I say IT student, I'm basically referring to that one kid that looks like they have their life together and knows what they're doing. Personally, for me, I tend to put a lot on my plate. So as of right now, my current priorities are obviously school, recruiting, health, YouTube, and friends. But trying to balance out everything can become quite overwhelming and challenging. But Notion was able to help me juggle all of my priorities by helping me manage all of my tasks in one place. Thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video. Notion is a productivity platform and an organizational tool for literally every aspect of my life. I've been using it religiously since the start of high school. I wanted to show you guys a template that I use and how I've been using Notion in general. The template that I created was made to help me juggle both my academic and personal life. And if you guys are interested in trying out Notion for free, make sure to check the link in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's get started with the tour. So when you first enter my Notion workspace, this is what it first looks like. You basically land on my homepage, which holds my entire life. It consists of an overview of my weeks, bookmarks to my other Notion pages, my monthly quote, assignment calendar and more. So let's dive a bit deeper into each section of my homepage. As you can see at the very top, I have a customized cover and an icon. And this is something that I personally really appreciate about Notion because everyone's workspace can be customized to reflect your own personal style in a way that motivates you. Beneath the icon and cover, I have my weekly schedules and I just have my fall semester laid out. So from September to December, looking into the individual weeks. When you click on a week, it takes you to a new page that holds every day of the week and each day is organized by the different tasks that I want to complete. I personally just try to be as specific as possible with my goals. So each day is usually separated by like an hour. Sometimes it can differ by like 30 minutes or an hour and a half. But I enjoy Notion because not only can I change up the aesthetic to what I find pleasing, but I can also change it up in a way that makes it more productive for me. For example, for each task, I put a checkbox next to it because I personally find satisfaction when I'm able to cross off a task once it's completed. But if this doesn't motivate you, you can also separate your goals for the day by like a table view or a calendar view, etc. I also sometimes change the color of my text to red. And this is just when I have like an important task that I need to complete for the day. So for example, on Wednesday, I have to complete a quiz at 2 10 p.m. So I changed the text color to red so that I would most definitely not forget. And going back to the home page on the very right, I also have a time block. Not only did I find this just like aesthetically pleasing, but I also like how it almost shouts at my face every time I look at it. So I know what time it is and I don't get distracted. And instead, I'm more motivated to continue to be productive before the day ends. Beneath the time block, I also included a monthly quote to motivate myself and I just put take chances touch grass and step outside your comfort zone it's always nice to have like a small little reminder every day and in the middle column I also included links to other parts of my notion such as my budget page cafe tracker page and to-do page and I'll talk more about these parts in a bit but for now beneath my bookmark pages I also have a section for my monthly tasks and this is just for the ones that I don't want to restrict to a certain week. So some of my tasks may take an entire month to complete. So I'll usually put those in this section. Throughout the top portion of my homepage, I included some pictures so that I don't overwhelm my workspace with words. I also just like having pictures in general because I am someone who is visually motivated. So when I see an inspirational picture, I usually have a bigger urge to complete my goals. And beneath the section, I also have a calendar and this can seem pretty overwhelming, but this is only because I have quite a bit of assignments that I need to complete every day for school. So this calendar is also linked to my to-do list page for assignments. And I like to keep track of when assignments and projects are due, but also which assignments I may want to complete for the day. I also just put YouTube on there because I kind of consider YouTube as like another class that I'm taking. If we look into the actual to-do page, I have five different columns. The first one is the name of my assignment, then the assignment 
type, name of the course, when I want to complete it by, and the status of the assignment. And on my calendar, I like to include three of these properties. So the name of the assignment, the course name, as well as the status. Moving on to the last part of my homepage, um, it consists of two different sections. To the very left, I have a link to a random Spotify playlist. I love listening to lo-fi or any calming music while I work because music helps me concentrate so much and I really like how I'm able to include a Spotify playlist directly to my Notion just so that I don't have to jump around like so many different apps and platforms. To the right, I have a link to a study with me YouTube video. This also helps me, especially when I'm studying for school. I live by the Pomodoro technique and so it's nice that my Notion has the direct link to the YouTube video and I don't have to go on YouTube every day and search it up. But that's basically it for my homepage. I don't like having to scroll too much. I try to keep it as simple and concise. So three different sections and it's relatively straightforward. But going back to the top of my homepage, I want to dive deeper into the different pages. So first I have a budget tracker. This is a little game changer, especially because I've been trying to save more money, which is so, so important, especially as a college student. I like to set a monthly budget. Usually I go above it, but it's nice seeing how much I actually spend within a month and also what I'm spending it on. I have five different columns. So the name of the expense, the amount, the category. So like food, entertainment, gifts, personal wants, a comment section, as well as the date of when I have purchased the item. I also included a chart view apart from the table view, which is really helpful to see which category I've been spending the most on. As you can see this month, I've been spending the most on food so far, which is typical and makes sense because I'm a huge foodie, but this also tells me to start cooking more at home and eating out less. Another page that I have within Notion that has been super helpful as a college student is having a cafe tracker. I am personally a cafe fiend. I love going to cafes to get my work done. I don't know, just something about the atmosphere and the possibility of like other people seeing what I'm doing motivates me to not get distracted and to just get my work done. I've been to quite a few cafes here in Berkeley and I've been keeping track of each of them, such as like if they have outlets, Wi-Fi, and what I think about their drinks. I haven't included all of the cafes yet. I'm working on it, but this has been super helpful on days when like I don't want to yelp which cafe to go to and also having to remember if they had Wi-Fi outlets, I can just refer to this list and see what they provide. So these were all of the pages that have been super helpful, especially as a college student, but I also included two more pages that helps me with my personal life and when I tell you my entire life is in the hands of Notion, I am not kidding. The first page is for YouTube. I like to keep a schedule of when I'm scripting for a video, when I have a video due, and when I have a video scheduled. I know not everyone posts on YouTube or social media, but this type of layout is also just good for like general projects. So for example, if you're working on a computer science project, you can keep track of when you might want to complete the sub problems by or which part of the project you're currently working on. You can also use it if you're in like a consulting club. So for example, if you're currently sourcing for clients or you want to keep track of which data analysis you have done, possibilities are literally endless. The last page that I have is a recruiting tracker. Unfortunately, it is currently recruiting season and it's been really overwhelming. I'm not going to lie, especially when you're applying to like hundreds of different companies for different roles. So I personally laid mine out to the name of the role, the company, whether I have applied or not, priority levels, where the job is currently being offered, linked to the application, and if they have reached back to me or not. I also included different views for this one. So one of them sorts it by priority, like if I really want to work at this company or not, and another sorts it by whether or not I have applied. If you're currently not recruiting, and let's say you're like in high school, this can also be super helpful if you're applying to colleges and want to keep track of that. That's basically my entire Notion workspace. People ask me how I'm able to juggle all of my different priorities every day and it's genuinely just because I have a platform like this. It keeps track of literally every aspect of my life. But what's also great specifically about Notion is that they also provide an app for your iPhone and also your tablets. So obviously I'm not always on 
on my laptop like it's such a chunky device so it's been great to just check off my tasks and my weekly schedule just through my phone again if you guys are interested in checking out notion make sure to check my link in my description box down below i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye